Good morning. This is math for Monday, August 10th. So your math that you're going to be doing today is on pages 11 and 12. You can go ahead and get your math book out. You can pause the video while you get that. Okay, so on page 11 and 12, it is lots of review. Now there are a few of these things that we're going to do together, a few of the problems. And this sheet will be a graded sheet today. So hopefully everyone is watching their video till the end. So you can get every answer on there that will be a freebie because we're going to do it together. And, um, and then, we'll, you know, this will be graded. So if you are a remote student, it is imperative that you tear this sheet out of your math book after you complete it today and put it inside your return work folder, okay? I must have it to grade it. If I don't have it, it would just have to be a zero. So make sure you tear it out and you place it in your, in your folder to come back to school to me on Friday. All right, so on page 11... Uh, one more thing, everyone's name and date should be at the top of that paper, okay? So August um, 10th is the date. So on page 11, um, let's look at letter, let's look at letter D, okay? So we have 6,780 divided by 5. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say how many times can 5 go into six? Or how many times can I count by fives until I pass six? Well, that's obviously just five. It's just one time. So five can go into six one time. So we put our one straight above the six. We have to be sure we are working in straight columns here. Then we're going to multiply. One times five is five. Then we're going to subtract. Six minus five is one. We're going to compare. Is one smaller than our divisor five? It sure is, so we will bring down our next digit, which is a seven. You should be writing this on your paper as I'm doing it on the board. Okay, everybody there? So now we're going to say, how many times will five go into 17? So we can say five, 10, 15. If we said the next one, it would be 20, so it's only gonna be how many times? Three times. So our three goes right above the number we brought down. We brought down the seven. Our three goes right above the number in our quotient. Then we multiply. Three times five is 15. We write that under our 17. We're now ready to subtract. Seven minus five is two. Very important step. Is two smaller than five? It sure enough is. So we bring down our next digit, which is an, here we go, which is an eight. How many times will five go into 28? So we say five, 10, 15, 20, 25. If we said the next number, it would be 30. So it's gonna be five times. So our five goes straight above the number we brought down. We brought the eight down, that's where our five goes. Now we multiply, five times five is 25. We subtract, eight minus five is three. Very important step, don't ever skip it. Is three smaller than our divisor five? It sure enough is. So we bring down our last digit, which is a zero. And we say, how many times can five go into 30? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we have six times. We put our six up straight above the number we brought down, which was a zero. Everything is in nice straight columns. Six times five is 30. We subtract. 30 minus 30 is zero. So our quotient is 1,356. All right, go ahead and look at letter G. If you need to pause the video and, and, and finish up that problem or look at it and study it, you may do so. We're going to go on. All right, page 11, letter G. Right, here we go, 838 times 97. So first, we are going to multiply everything by the ones place. 838 times 7. So 8 times 7 is 56. We put 6 down. We carry our 5 above the 10th place. 
3 times 7 is 21, plus 5 is 26. We put 6 down, we carry our 2 above the hundreds place. 8 times 7 is 56, plus 2 is 58. Now we're all done multiplying by the ones place, so we're going to put a zero in the ones place. And now we're going to multiply by the tens place. 838 times 9. 9 times 8 is 72. Put 2 down. Carry your 7 above the tens place. 3 times 9 is 27. Plus 7 is 34. Put your 4 down. Carry your 3 above the hundreds place. And 8 times 9 is 72, plus our 3 is 75. Now we are ready to add our partial products. The tens place equals 6. The hundreds place equals 8. I'm sorry, the tens place equals 8. The hundreds place equals 12. Put 2 down, carry your 1. The thousands place equals 11. Put 1 down, carry your 1. The ten thousands place equals 8. 1, 2, 3, Comma. Our product is 81,286. Um, let's go ahead. You can always pause the video when you need to. Um, let's go ahead and look at page 11, letter M. Letter M we will do together. So we have 3,300 divided by 3. So how many times will 3 go into 3? It'll go in there one time. 1 times 3 is 3. We subtract. 3 minus 3 is 0. We compare. 0 is definitely smaller than our divisor. We bring down the next digit, which is a 3. How many times will 3 go into 3? It'll go straight up. It'll go in one time. We multiply. 1 times 3 is 3. We subtract. 3 minus 3 is 0. 0 is still smaller than our divisor. It hasn't changed. We bring down our next digit, which is a 0. How many times will 3 go into 0? It won't, but we still have to show that up here in the number we brought down. We brought down 0. If 3 can't go into 0, what number means it won't? Nothing. That would be 0. So we put our 0 at the top. The zero is definitely still smaller. We bring down our next digit, which is a three. And how many times will three go into three? It'll go in there one time. So we put our one down. One times three is three. We subtract, and it is still zero. It didn't change. So one, two, three, comma. Our quotient is 1,101. All right, so go ahead and look at page 12. On page 12, it's a lot of division. We have some large number writing. Remember when we're writing large numbers, how we have the ones, tens, and hundreds. Then we have everything with the last name of thousands, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. Then we have the three units with the last name of millions, 1 million, 10 million, 100 million. And then we have the three units with the last name of billions, 1 billion, 10 billion, 100 billion, okay? So let's do the very first one together. We're on page 12, section 2, letter A. So it says 76 billion. So we're going to write the number 76, and we're going to give it its last name, billion. 913 million. So we're going to write the number 913. We're going to give it its last name, million. 643,000. So we're going to write the number 643. We're going to give it its last name, 1,219. So we're going to write 219. And that is the number 76,913,643,219. And then I want, to, I want you to look at letter 3, our section 3, letter A. It says, no, about six donuts for $3.60. At that rate, what would one donut cost? And then it says to place the dollar sign and decimal point in the quotient directly above the dollar sign and decimal point in the dividend. So let's do that one together. So he paid $3.60 for the donuts. 
And how many did it say that he bought? He bought six of them. So we're going to see how much one donut would be if he would have just bought one. Okay, so how many times will six go into 36? So we say six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. So six will go into 36 six times. Now, can six go into three? Nope but it will go into 36, so our six goes straight about the six, and six times six is 36. So we write our 36, we subtract, 36 minus 36 is zero, zero is smaller. If there's more digits to bring down, we have to bring them down. We bring down our zero, how many times will six go into zero? It won't, but remember, if we bring a number down, we have to have a number above it, so if it won't go in there, we put a zero above it. Um, and remember, we bring our decimal point straight up and our dollar sign. So one donut would be 60 cents. That's a pretty good deal on the donut. All right, and then the last thing I want to show is for the new students who maybe are not familiar um, how this is done in the Becca. So you have a, um, something like this on section five. So how you do that is you'll multiply everything across the top by the first number, then everything across the top by the second number everything across the top by the third number and so on, kind of like this. Nine times eight is 72. 12 times eight, eight times two is 16, and one times eight is eight plus that one is 96. Eight times eight is 64. Eight times 11, one times eight is eight, and one times eight is eight, and then eight times six is 48. And then nine times 10 is 90. 12 times 10 is 120. 8 times 10 is 80. 11 times 10 is 110. 6 times 10 is 60. Okay? So that's how it goes. And you just keep doing that all the way, just like that, in order to complete um, that exercise. All right, so you guys will go ahead and complete all of page 9. Is it 9 and 10? I'm sorry, page 11 and 12. Um, my B students, you will need to tear that page out and have it in your folder ready to turn in tomorrow. And remote students, it needs to be tore out of your book and placed into your return folder to bring to me on Friday. Okay? Have a good day, guys.